now, you already know. Smokers Club Tour. Juicy J shutting it down. You kidding me, bro? You already know Parker Vision of Full Effect, Mr. Peter Parker, I'm in D.C., man, it's going down with the kid, Taylor Ganger die, Chevy Woods, what's the deal? What up, man? Good to see you, brother. Good to see you. This is our first, like, legitimate interview since the Kev the Hustler days. Yeah, that's a classic, old school. If you want to go back and see a classic Chevy interview, yo, hit it up, man. ParkerVision.tv, it was a throwback. Yeah, you got to promote that, man. People need to see that and just, you know, know where we came from. We came, we came a long way since then, you know what I mean? That was like... That was like, I think that was pre cushion orange juice. That was like early, early. That was real early. That was a uh, 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 winter clothes early. Like it was still cold and early. You can check the outfits to see how early that was. I'm looking crazy in that video, man. <laughs> clothing. I had on a big ass hoodie too. Yeah, my shit was so baggy, son. <laughs> Yo, it's going down, man. Look, you've been doing so much. Like you guys have been so busy. And, and, and in the last couple of years, you know, Wiz is just. His fame has just exploded, and we've seen the styles change a little bit, the trends have changed, you know what I mean? You know, what's different from you from the early days and, and now? Like, the experiences have to be unbelievable that you guys, the things that you guys have seen. Um, yeah, I think what's different for me is, uh, you know, just traveling and, you know, homing my skills, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Learning from him at the same time, you know, knowing how to do a show, you know, by myself. Yeah. So, you know, I just took... What we what we've been doing, you know what I'm saying? It's the simple recipe that we know. So we I'm gonna just run with that and you know, keep it tailored. I seen the overseas shows and the crowds overseas are, are humongous. And, and now you got this big opening set when you're coming out and um talk to me about that energy overseas. Um the energy overseas is like really hands on, you know what I mean? Because a lot of the venues are not like huge venues so it's like intimate so they like yeah. really get to like maybe grab your leg and like pull you you yeah. know and you got to like step back and you know it's just like real real it's like real love you know what i mean because they don't just do it like aggressively they do it like in a in a we we love you type of way and they're really passionate like it's that you know we got to think hip-hop we go outside it's right in front of us it's everywhere in america for them it's such a novelty and it's so exciting to have someone like you and wiz in their town they don't know how to act. They don't speak English. They go crazy. At all. So when they get it, you know, they embrace it and they just love it. And it's, it's their everything. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I heard a lot of the new music you guys are doing, especially the stuff that you're doing. And I can hear the progression and I hear, you know what I mean? It sounds amazing. Are we going to have a debut album from you this year? I appreciate it. It sounds amazing. It sounds amazing, bro. That's a, that's a great word. He said it sounds amazing. It really oh. does. And I've been a fan since day one. He, this dude was doing exclusive freestyles for me with Kev the Hustler. And now it's like, I hear the new stuff and it's like, yo, this shit is crazy. I'm just going in, you know, doing what I know, not trying to, you know, be anybody. I'm just myself and what, which I always been, you know, and now it's like on a broader level because, you know, Wiz is, you know, promoting all of us and we're all in Taylor gang. We're all like, you know, wanting to hustle now, yeah. you know, more, more so for the, for the work of the, you know, music and not like we just, it's a money thing. You know what I mean? We, we love what we do. So we go in the studio, you know, perfect the craft. Did you guys see this vision when it was like just TGOD and then now, you know, it's, it's you, it's Juicy J, it's Lola Monroe, it's Snoop. Did you guys, is this the original vision? Um, yeah, we talked to man Wiz, like, you know, and amongst all of us, you know, we talked about a lot of things and what can happen, you know what I mean? And all of a sudden, a lot of things start happening, and yeah. you know, and he put me on to, you know, like Lola and told me what he wanted to do with that and, you know, and what he wanted to do with Juicy and, you know, what situations he wanted to bring Juicy over for and, you know, bring Tukey, Burner, you know, Courtney, everybody just, you know, it's all one mix and, you know, it's not just, just one genre of, you know, music, it's everything. You know, we go in the studio and we, we feel like everything, you know what I mean? We don't just feel like, okay, let's make a hip hop track, you know. Anybody that's working at the beat, you know, caters to you. You go and do it. I can see, like, it's going to go in a lot of different directions coming up. Like, you know, bringing Juicy in, that Ratchet style, that Bands of Maker Dance is like the record in D.C. right now. But then, you know, with Wiz's style and everything, I see it going a lot of different ways in, in the future. You know, Juicy's album's coming out, your joint's coming out. It's exciting, man. Yeah, it's real exciting, you know, and you know, everybody got plans and everybody bring it to the table. So when you bring it to the table and, you know, talk about it, it makes it easier for, you know, the, the the head of the you know table the boss of you know Taylor Gang to decide what we what, what he and what we want to do you know what I mean yeah, when he turned down that Ross deal it was kind of like people some people were scratching their heads and even myself was like man that, that would have been a, that's a great opportunity but then to see it now come 
full circle. Stoke, man. Stoke, man. What, what, you know, I'm trying to get you out to the VMAs. We're going to the VMAs a couple weeks. Hopefully, you're going to be out there. I'm trying to be out there, man. I'm getting a ticket. If You told me now you're going to be out I'm going to be. You're going to be on my radio show. I'm going to get a ticket so I can do that radio. It's happening. We're broadcasting live from the VMAs. It's going down. And, and you know, we're going to be out there. LA is like a second home for you guys. So, yeah, yeah. I love the work there. You know what I mean? If if anything, you know, it's, it's, it is second home. And, you know, recording out there is just, you know, a different kind. You wake up in the morning and you just feel free. And, yeah. you know, get out there, get to the studio at nighttime to the morning time again and, you know, eat breakfast and go to sleep. So peace, a little more peaceful out there. Yes, yes, a lot more peaceful. How do you like this tour, the Smokers Club tour you've been on? I was dope. You know, we've been having fun. I jumped on it right after the Under the Influence tour. I took a day and a half off, slept a little bit, ate some spaghetti, drunk some lemonade. <laughs> oh, excuse me. Went home, the lemonade right there. There it is. Taylor juice. And, you know, it's I not all lemonade. Go ahead. Uh, it, oh, man. Let me get it. Huh? Get it popping, please, man. This is, we salute everybody. I don't want to be left out. But yeah, you know, this has been a great, a great, you know, experience for me just being out on my own without, like, you know, Wiz or, you know, Will or, like, you know, the team that I've been around and, you know, right. building my team and having my guys around. And, you know, it's the same. We're all in the same, you know, pocket. You know, everybody just, when you get out and, you know, it's an opportunity for you to do you and everybody supports it, you know, why not? What's the biggest difference between your Chevy Woods project and let's say a typical Wiz Khalifa project. Um, I don't think it's a, it's not it's not a big difference. You know what I mean? I think I think it's heartfelt. You know, I think it's it's everything that you know we want to do. It's not you know nobody saying this is this or that is that. It's like you know we talk about things, we do certain stuff, we drink certain liquor, yeah, we it's drink family. Liquor. Exactly. You know, we just play like family. You know, if it's a argument, if it's a whatever, whatever, it doesn't even matter. You know, everything's brought to the table. You know, we, we more or less like make it a brought to the table thing. Yo, talk to me about this album cover that Wiz got. It is so crazy. When I saw it, a lot of people were taking jabs at it, but it's it's very sleazy. The sleaze is on a million with that. It's it's talk to me about the, the decision as a you know to put this thing out like that with the cover it's it's pretty epic you know it's 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 real sleazy and you know people you know they're gonna take their jabs out of whatever right. but you know certain people you know with a certain lifestyle or how you know they carry themselves they like to evolve yeah. they don't like to just be the same old you know right. I'm gonna just put my face on the cover or put my name on it like do something different boring I mean and that's not and you know I've been around him forever so I know how he changes. And yeah, when I seen evolves, the cover, it's, yeah. that's him. You know you, what I mean? The original stuff, you could hear like a dip set influence early on and certain things, and he's evolved so much. Yeah. You, you can't stay the same forever. Like, you, if it was always Cushion Orange Juice, we'd be bored. But this this cover, Amber had a hand in that thing? Um, I'm not sure. I mean, you know, I'm, I'm I, well, matter of fact, I'm not going to say I'm not sure. I'm pretty sure. <laughs> yeah. Because, you know, if you, you know, you know, they're, and, and she's fashion. Ah, the, the love is, you know what I'm saying? She's fashion forward. Exactly. You know, she, you know, she's real, you know, she's real. Yeah, she's yeah. like a real, you know, woman. So it's like, you know, if I come to the table with my woman and I'd be like, yo, baby, what's, what do you think? we're going to make a decision and it's not just going to be all me. Yeah, yeah, so, yeah. you know, let's make a decision. That's where you the start. The cover at. was great. When I saw it, I was like, yo, this guy, the sleeves. It's unbelievable, man. It's great, man. You know, and it's opportunity, you know, to step out and have people talk about it negative or positive. Right. To, you know, like he said in the interview, you know what I'm saying? He, they're, they're talking about it. Yep. So like the, Rick, the Rick Ross uh, Rolling Stone cover. If you see the joint and he's got no shirt on, look. But, yo, we're talking about it right now. Exactly. You, you can't let it pass you because it's interesting. <laughs> Follow this dude, man. Big things coming up in 2012, 2013. Album, do you have, uh, is there a date on the album or? Um, no date on the album. You know, we're working on the Taylor Gang compilation joint. Oh, that's going to be dope. Especially, you know, looking forward to the O and I C. Yeah. And, you know, everybody just keep their sleeves ready because it's going down. Taylor Gang or die. Yeah. Official, man. MrPeterParker.com, ParkerVision.tv. We salute everybody, man. Already. Yeah, ParkerVision.tv, we out here. TGOD, baby.